I'm very excited about uh, our first guest, our first guest today, a former player. Let's go to the Barb's Harley Davidson uh, Sports Hotline and welcome into the locker room former Eagle quarterback Coy Detmer. What's up, Coy? <laughs> What's going on? How y'all doing? All right, Coy. Before we get into anything, I want to send our condolences. Um, just not too long ago, your your father passed away. We want to uh, say how sorry we are and and send our prayers and condolences to you and your family. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah, it was a tough tough loss there, uh, but uh, you know it was a shame. But we're fortunate to have him while we had him, and uh, he had a great life. And everybody's uh, been moving on now, and and everybody's okay. Thank and you're you. you're walking a little bit in your father's footsteps now. You're uh, coaching uh, at the Somerset High School. You're coaching the, on the staff, the football team. Uh, yes, sir. I was at uh, Somerset with my dad up there, and uh, we coached together for about six, seven years there. And uh, now I'm actually I'm down at Mission High School, where I went to high school, and I'm the head coach and athletic coordinator down here. And so that's been a lot of fun to come back home and. Uh, and be with these kids where, where I went to high school at. Coy, uh, Ken Dunnick, great to talk with you. And uh, I was a backup tight end on the 80 Super Bowl team and really enjoyed watching you and your brother play for the Eagles. Anything stand out to you as far as a, a memory of the team or the city or a particular game? With, uh, with Philly up there? Yeah. Uh, yo, yeah, definitely. Uh, it was a great experience. Uh, you know, we had... Uh, some great, great teams through that stretch of time whenever I was up there playing with them. And, uh, you know, obviously one of my memorable moments was uh, on Monday night out at San Francisco and I got an opportunity to play. You know, I was primarily a backup and older, so I didn't get that much uh, playing time. But uh, but that night I did, and uh, we had a great night. And unfortunately I ended up uh, uh, dislocating my elbow uh, later on in the game, but uh, but it was a lot of fun. That, that was a great memory. And also, obviously, going to the Super Bowl in 2004 was a great experience. Uh, but had a lot of fun, a lot of great great teammates, and uh, it was a lot of fun playing. We're talking with Coy Detmer, former Eagles quarterback. Of course, you played for the Eagles for what eight years, uh, Coy. How has football? How's playing? Let, let me ask you this: How has quarterback being a quarterback helped you prepare? for being a, a head coach in the position you're in right now? Yeah, no, at the quarterback position, you know, it's all – it's decision-making, you know, is uh, – that's the number one thing is, uh, you know, you've got to be a good decision-maker to be a, a great quarterback. And so, um, you know, with that, uh, you know, and being able to handle the responsibility of everything and uh, you're kind of running the, run the team when you're out there in the huddle and – things like that, and it's kind of the same way as a, as a head coach. Uh, you know, you kind of – you got your team of coaches, you got your players, and, uh, you know, you're making the decisions on uh, what direction to go with things and, and all that. So definitely playing the quarterback position um, prepares you for, for that, type of a, that type of a job. Coy, how much uh, latitude did uh, Coach Andy Reid give you guys? I mean, I know you were behind Donovan McNabb, but how much latitude did Coach Reid give you, uh, say, in the quarterback that uh, when you come up to the line of scrimmage to change plays? Uh, you know, there was a little bit, but uh, you know, it, it was basically with that. It was it was primarily just certain looks. You know, we uh, we typically. Going into the game, Coach Reed was really good, and our, our staff, you know, at uh, game planning and preparing. And so uh, there wasn't a, a, a big need to change a lot of things, you know, but there was those handful of times throughout the game that, uh, you know, with, with certain play calls, and if they were, if they gave us a specific look that, hey, we need to get out of it and get into something else. And so uh, there was a little bit of that. But uh, those guys did a, a great job of game planning that um, you didn't have to do a, a lot of that kind of a thing. But, but you did have the flexibility, you know. And, uh, you know, if you're seeing things, and there was a lot of the communication on the sideline and adjustments and things like that going into the next, the next drive, the next series of plays. And so um, uh, Andy's really good with all of those things. Hey, Koya, uh, Tom Arnone here. 
you know, first off, it was, it's an honor to talk to you because I feel like I, you know, I watch you through. They were my years, you know, when you played, they were, they were my years growing right. up. And I used to call Andy dad. And, uh, you know, that's how much I love that football team. But, you know, the, the biggest thing, and I think that was we didn't understand how good of a leader was Donovan McNabb. You know, we hear about all the extra no. stuff, the smile and stuff that doesn't matter. But in terms of leadership, what kind of leader was Donovan McNabb? No, he's a great leader, man. And, and uh, you know, he, he had that ability to always uh, keep everything moving forward and everything positive. You know, in, in an NFL season, you know, there's going to be ups and downs and there's going to be, uh, you know, a lot of things you know, being said or talked about from the outside. And, uh, you know, it's either like everything is great or everything is, you know, you're not going to be able to win a game, you know, kind of thing. And he had that uh, real ability to always keep everything level and positive. And uh, he was a rock, man. And it was, it was, you know, one, he was one of those guys that, you know, he was on the team, he was on the field. Everybody always just felt, well, you, you got a chance to go out and do big things. And so uh, he's a great leader, um, you know, spoke up in team meetings and things like that when, uh, when things needed to be said. You know, he, he wasn't a uh, talk all the time guy, but when, when things needed to be said, you know, he said it. And he was a great leader uh, all the way around and, and a guy that, uh, that everybody loved to play for, you know. And so – being that way is a big deal for our team and a big reason why we were able to do the things we did back then and, and have the success we had. We're talking with former Eagles quarterback Coy Detmers on the line with us. And, Coy, you have your, your son. He plays quarterback as well, too. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got a couple of them. So, <laughs> the runs in the family, Coy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, little boy, he he plays he played at uh, Texas A&M in Kingsville in college, and uh, we coached him there at Somerset, and uh, he's finished up, and now he's going into coaching, and he's coaching on the staff there at Texas A&M Kingsville. He's working with the running backs, and then Cole is at Somerset, uh, and he is in his junior year playing quarterback, and he's doing a great job there, so. Uh, it's been it's been a lot of fun, and we got nephews and all kind of stuff uh, coming up. So uh, there's definitely a lot of quarterback play in our family. Hey, Coy, two quick questions. Number one, uh, do you stay in touch with Coach Reed, and what was your uh, feeling when he actually finally got to win the Super Bowl? And what's your brother Ty doing these days? <laughs> yeah, well, with Coach Reed, you know, I haven't talked to him in a long time, but I stay in touch with some of the guys that are uh, – that have been, you know, in touch with him and close with him, uh, Coach, I mean, uh, Chad Lewis, you know, and uh, he always keeps us up to speed on how things are going and stuff like that with with Coach Reed. And, uh, you know, it was, it was awesome. When, when they won the Super Bowl, man, it was, like, so exciting because uh, what a great guy Coach Reed is. And, you know, yeah, he's a great coach and, and all of that. And, and uh, But – the, the person that he is and uh, the kind of coach and the kind of guy he was for all of us, I know, uh, in talking with some of the other guys that, that we played together back then, uh, everybody was just really excited for him to, to have uh, finally uh, won the Super Bowl and, uh, and all that. Cause, I mean, what a great person uh, he is. And, and so couldn't have happened to a better guy, that's for sure. And your brother? And then with Ty, he's out in Arizona in the Phoenix area, and he's an athletic director out there for uh, – there's some schools that are like academy schools, and uh, there's like two of them. And so he's, he's the athletic director uh, in charge of those high school uh, athletics out there in that area, and then he does some uh, football clinic things and stuff on the side like that. But uh, – He's having fun. He's doing good playing a lot of golf. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> now, Coy, I know you're down in Texas. Do you get a chance to uh, watch the Eagles and keep up with, up with what they're doing? You know, I, I, I have. This year it's been tough because uh, of the pandemic and all that. And the, uh, what I like to do as a high school and to bring the kids in and be working with them and all the guidelines and all that kind of stuff. I haven't seen much football. Uh, on TV yet this year, but uh, 
but yeah, definitely in the uh, over the past few years and stuff like that, you know, it uh, I always you know keep up. And then of course, little Coy and them, they always keep me up to date on you know who's doing what and what's happening. You know, they're all into the fantasy football and all that kind of stuff. So they kind of keep me up to speed on on what's going on. But uh, but yeah, we always uh, are looking out to see what the Eagles are doing. All right, well, listen, Coy Detmer, we really appreciate you uh, taking time on uh, Sunday morning on our Eagles pregame show to say hi and let us know what you're doing. Um, consistent, continued success, and uh, we'll do it again sometime. All right, great. Thanks for having me on. Appreciate it. All right, there's Coy Detmer, everybody. Uh, Coy Detmer on the Barb's Harley-Davidson Sports Hotline.